I apologize. Okay. It's okay. No, you're okay, dude. All right, cool. Ready? You guys ready? Sure. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the first ever Swift podcast. I'm your host, Jacob Jaime, and I'm joined by Dylan Tran. Um, we're both freshmen, and we're joined by our amazing guests who will introduce themselves right now. Thank you, Jacob. Um, my name is Robinson, and I'm a fifth year here at Cal Poly Pomona. Uh, my name is Luis. I am uh, currently a sixth year. I'm a <laughs> gross old man with a cane right now. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, we were supposed to do majors, right? So I am in CIS, or I'm a CIS major, uh, emphasis in infosec and forensics. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm the same major too, in the same um, emphasis. CIS. Information security and forensics. It's like a mouthful every time <laughs> I have to say that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know that's how you say your last name, Jacob. It's my last name. <laughs> I forgot what you just said, but I know it sounded different than what I thought I was going to hear. Same. You know what? what? I always thought it was Jaime. I was it is Jaime. Me. What? Oh, yo. What? That's lit, dude. Uh, I've been calling this man the Jacob James. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, welcome to the first episode, oh, everybody. <laughs> yes, sir. This is this is the pilot, so I'm not sure if this is ever going to be released. You, you, can't, you can't just do me like that. Well, what are you <laughs> doing, 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 doing? Nah, dude. It's going to get out to the world. I believe in you. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not. I've been saying Jacob James for like what? For, what for, for, for five months now? Four months now? And no correction? Damn, bro. No. Wow. I think I... No just respect ignored it. for you. No <laughs> I mean, at least I tried fixing my name, but y'all keep calling me. Oh, yeah, we keep. Stuff. Dylan Tran. Just one word. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to the questions. The first question I have for you guys today is describe the moment you knew you wanted to work in cybersecurity. Me first? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Or anyone. <clears throat> so, the exact moment was during summer 2020. Um, Swift hosted their own training for the CCDC and CPTC competition, short for the Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition and the Collegiate Penetration Testing Competition. At the time, I only tried out for CCDC, and it was a, a nine-week program that led to a tryout. And at the end of the nine weeks, I knew that cyber was for me. Um, I always knew that I wanted to do something related to computers, but once I went through the whole uh, boot camp, um, it, it was like a very easy decision. I knew that this was the field I wanted to be in. So like, what did you do before Swift? <coughs> oh man. Before <laughs> Swift, I was, You just uh, hit him with the shot. Oh no. Can we, get, uh, can we get Robinson backstory arc now? Yeah. Oh, uh, yo. Okay, so before... Before uh, Swift, I was kind of just coasting by, to be honest. I was just going through the motions. Um, I was f I was formerly a computer engineer um, major. <laughs> yeah. He big, said oof. Big <laughs> oof. <laughs> big old Shout out oof. to engineers. Respect to them, but I can't, I can't do it. I hated it. The, the moment I was in my first uh, electrical engineering class, I was in that major for a year and a half until I just realized, like, I cannot do this anymore. It was I was at the point where I had to move on to physics two and um, calc three, and I had to continue going on my um, my electrical engineering class because I was behind. Like I took a math placement test and I, I failed it, so oh, I was no, actually Alex. a class behind for math. So I had to play catch up for a year and a half, and then Damn. it got to the point where like a year and a half in, it's if you go further on. It's going to be, you, you have to stay in this major because then it's going to be way too hard to start over again, right? You wasted all this time. So like a year and a half, I just, I did a lot of research and I found out CIS was the major for me. It was something related to computers. That's something I always knew I would do. It, it just had to be with computers, but computer engineering was like the wrong path that I went down. Um, so I switched majors and... The thing that got me into CIS actually was forensics. I was like, I just fell in love with forensics the, the moment I started researching about it. And that was the, that was the only reason why I even switched was because of digital forensics. But once I switched to the major, it just felt like, like looking back, I, it felt like I was starting over again where it's like, I'm just coasting by, I'm just like doing the minimum. I'm just going to class, going home. But then, um, I took my forensics class. It was pretty interesting. I liked it. 
it was a it was an interesting field where like you you have like these investigative um, capabilities, you know, but I just I just like figured at that point I was already almost a senior. Either I was almost a senior already, or I was already a senior. Um, and at that point, I was like, if I really really want to go down this digital forensics route, um, this job market's gonna be kind of tough. Cause I haven't, I've never seen like a entry level forensics anything, and that's where I kind of, I kind of got lost after a while, you know. Um, I I just questioned like, do I really like forensics this much, <laughs> you know? And then, and then like, at that time, I wanted to graduate early, so then I took a summer class, right? And in the summer class, it was for IT infrastructure with Doctor Doctor Pike. Some of you may know him, um, and just just out of nowhere, he just like mentioned this training thing for Swift, and, and like he advertised it a little. I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll check it out, and and that changed my life forever. Ever ever since then, I've been on this like, Swift has taken me to like a trajectory like I've never thought I've been. Damn, like to be here right now is like, honestly like, the biggest blessing and like, the best thing that has ever happened to me at uni. Nice, nice. Yeah, dude, that's beautiful. That's like a, <laughs> a much more heartwarming story than me. I'm like, a, well, because I guess we're, we've been in the same position, right? Where um, I think we're, we were kind of like floating around and kind of doing things. Um, Tough. Yeah, <laughs> it is, honestly. And, and that's like pretty lame, at least for like myself. Um, starting off, uh, the moment I knew for sure that I wanted to get into like cybersecurity and like that kind of put me in this trajectory was uh, actually reading an article. Um, I put this back over in like the MISA podcast, but uh, long story <laughs> short on that, um, I, was, I remember reading an article and I was kind of just like, you know, going through the motions of school and all that kind of stuff. But at some point um, during the spring, I just start, I was reading just like, man, how do I get into like hacking? I wanted to fulfill the entire oh, 80s okay. stereotype <laughs> of like, because I'm like, I'm already in a metal band, I'm doing metal things and I'm like, I look like an 80s bully already. So I might as well just like, let, let, let's just do the whole stereotype. <laughs> so I ended up uh, just kind of getting into hacking and just like looking up small blogs and stuff. And one of them caught my eye and the biggest one was uh, actually FBI agents. I wish I still had it uh, on me, but I don't remember the link, but it was actually like FBI agents um, hiring ethical hackers to actually find missing persons. So that was one of the biggest inspirations for me. And I was like, you know what? I, I feel like I can do that. Like that's something I want to achieve at some point within my lifetime. And I'm like, I want to be able to give back in some kind of way. And so um, from there, it was just like a trajectory. So I was kind of like, uh, like Robinson was saying, I was kind of like going through the motions and stuff, but then I ended up actually caring about what I was doing in school. <laughs> so I was looking up every, all the classes that you needed to get into like information security. And so I saw that that was one of the main tracks that we have here at school. So I was like, yo, my, you know, I'm like, it's already there, might as well take it. So I ended up taking um, just recently, uh, this past spring of 2021, um, I tried to get myself involved too in extracurriculars. One of the other things too that I wanted to prove to myself was like, hey, you know what? I can actually do this. Like I can, I can, <laughs> I can talk to other people. Like I can do the things that yeah. I've learned already. Like being in a band and you know managing all that other stuff. Like I want to be more involved with what I'm doing. So um, I ended up just jumping in like head first. So I got myself involved uh, with Missa, and from there it was just like a total skyrocket of just being exposed to every single one of the clubs here at school, and just in general like being having the like privilege. <laughs> to actually be involved in Swift. And I think that was one of the coolest things too, is that um, like, not only was my interest just like there, um, but it was also nurtured by being in the clubs and stuff too. Like it, it, it's, I can only imagine how it could be like if maybe the clubs weren't that great. Like just imagining it to myself, like if uh, I just kind of came to school and I was just doing like the forensics like classes and all that stuff and just kind of going through the motions, I probably still wouldn't want to be like, or I wouldn't be where I am right now with all the knowledge that I have That's and all that facts. stuff. That's facts. So I think for me, like one of the biggest things too was not, um, not only just getting into it uh, just from that article, but at the same time too, having it nurtured over time by being in, in the clubs and uh, being involved in there. So big shout out to that. So long story short, I read an article. I thought it was cool. And now oh, we're sitting oh in the darkness. Oh my Yo, god! This is lit. This the is sensor. such good footage. I think it's the sensor. But um, there's some uh, very interesting stories about how you got into cybersecurity. I respect that. 
Thank you. <laughs> That's actually... Luis's story is actually pretty funny because then the FBI was like... They were alongside alongside <laughs> alongside digital forensics the fbi was the reason for like for me to even make the switch i wanted to be in the fbi so bad at that time even up until that this point last year um that's uh, around this point last year is where like the the dream just kind of died because <laughs> I, I already i applied to this like it thing for like internship in washington um, it's like the whole process they make you go through when you like apply for like public sector stuff, but I got rejected and I was like, all right, this ship has sailed. But that's interesting. But like, <laughs> you know, like the FBI was like one of my biggest motivations for a very long time before yeah. Swift. That's something I, I'm not sure exactly like, uh, cause that, that's my dream still is to like, at least be in some form or way, like to create some kind of like volunteer platform. That I can like give back with uh, with the technology and you know like the skills that we have and stuff because I think what we have is like stupidly important. Um, just you know speaking for myself, uh, I didn't fucking have a like a computer computer or use one until I was like twenty. So that's like only four years ago. And like I I, I talked to you guys like Jacob and Dylan who are, are here with me, and these guys have been like fucking using computers. <laughs> They've been using computers since they're like five or something. So it, it's it's just really interesting to me because that's uh that's just something I want to be able to provide back at some point because um I don't know if I'll ever be able to reach the 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 sixty four <coughs> shells of this demon over here, Mr. <laughs> Dylan Tran, um, with just like a recent little event that we ended up having. But um, I know that's something that I want to provide back over. But yeah, at so least for me, that's he's like, talking about RVB, which is every semester at Cal Poly Pomona Swift. <laughs> There you go, the um, advertisement of the century, dude. I'm just saying, if we want to get technical here, I actually started using the computer when I was two years old. I was playing Thomas the Tank Engine. We had a little, we had a little P PC set up for that. We, I was using some computer from the 90s. I remember I tried to play Roblox on it. Couldn't go full screen. Oh, lit, dude. <laughs> like, I tried to press the full screen. It's like, I got an error message. It was sad. Yeah. But you the guys have some very interesting stories about all that uh, cybersecurity stuff. I don't know about the case for Jake. I mean, he's from Troy, so he's probably what? just in his blood. <laughs> Bro. So, like, his story's probably not interesting at all. <laughs> yeah. And I know for me, it was just like, uh, it just happened, you know? But you guys actually had, you, you had actual dreams and inspirations, and I was just here like, uh, dang. I wouldn't say dreams and inspirations. It wasn't you really... Want, like, you want to do the FBI <laughs> and everything, and I'm just here uh, like, wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> in that to... sense, yeah, but it's... It was like a really big reach, right? Like, for... Even if I want, when I, at the time I, I wanted to be in the FBI really bad, like, but then my resume didn't show anything, right? It was, at the time, I can only fill out half a page of my resume, and it was just like, it was just like random stuff, you know? Like, it has no meaning. So, so like, I did have dreams and aspirations at the time, but, like, it's nothing compared to now. Like, looking back, even, even though I was in the moment where, like, this is what I want to do. Friends, this is what I want to do. I want to work for the FBI. I was still very much like lost. Uh, it's it's tough. It's tough. But what I'm saying is, like, you you had like a whole path, and then you had things happen. You Everybody had, you, has their own path, yeah. though. You know, like even you. <laughs> you think? Yeah. That's, well, that's a good thing, right? Is you that like you've come a, a long way too? So how, how much have you done in like three months? Is that not your journey? Your journey you see, is your just journey, guys journey was I'm really, at the end I, of... I well, spawned here, basically. Okay. I spawned here. <laughs> I spawned what here. happened for me, right? I'm just sitting here, I was like, wow, I'm going to apply to... All right, so, three years of high school, wow, I hate cybersecurity. It's absolutely I disgusting. didn't even know about cybersecurity in high school at all. <laughs> Same. Okay. We didn't even but, have computers at my school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here like, wow, cybersecurity is absolutely disgusting this is the worst thing i've seen in my life i'm going to become a software engineer and get out of here i'm, I'm never i don't ever want to see windows server again in my lifetime right <laughs> so after that i'm like okay it's time to apply to a uc everyone's going to a uc and i'm like wow there's a hundred dollar application fee or something like that and you cheaped out Oh yeah, yeah. I cheap yeah. out there. I cheap out there. Uh, so, so, so I, so I did, so That's I did. ten months of hack the box. Ten months of hack the box. It's a lot of months of hack the box. So hey, dude, free you. Yeah, and this yeah, is actually it's, it's actually really tragic. So then I ended up saying, okay, you know what? I'll, my backup school is Cal Poly. So I only applied to Cal Poly if they rejected me. That would have been pretty interesting. But then I got scammed because you have to pay the two hundred dollar enrollment deposit. So 
yeah, uh, turns out I still have to pay money, which was very frustrating, and I regret my decision to come here. Play the game. And then uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of just sat here for a bit, uh, was breathing for a bit, and then I got an email, and it said uh, something about a, about a SWIFT meeting. And I was like, wow, I think I heard this name mentioned by some, uh, a legendary man named Justin Bowie. He, he was telling me to look into SWIFT, and I come, basically forgot everything Wait, he he's said. heard of SWIFT? Oh yeah, Swift and CCDC. Uh, in May this year, he was like, oh yeah, you should definitely look into those if you're going to Cal Poly. And then I forgot oh, about wow. everything he said about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't mean any offense, but I thought you were going to say Joseph Stalin. I was like, what? <laughs> so I'm like, oh yeah, Swift, that rings a bell. I think someone said it like one time in my life. So I went there and then, uh, you, you see, see, it, it happened for me instantly. Whereas for you guys, you, you, you kind of had a whole... I mean... A whole journey of self-discovery and over here i'm like wow <laughs> ah, self-discovery is like, click the like that's like link. sprinkling like a lot of like niceness to like it, it it's different dude i, I, I it's don't know it's different for everybody and, and it's well that's the thing right it's a i always put it like to a, a situation of circumstance um it's weird but it's just like where you're at at that time and for I get yeah I can only think, exactly yeah, it, it's just like it's different. You got lucky, dude, and that's a good thing, right? I'm not gonna hate on the luck because I'm like you I'm got really here lucky. at a really good time where we're having like a good transition of things, like internally within our club stuff. Like there's just so much like good stuff that's been going on. Perfect right? timing. Honestly, it's not even luck. I think it, it's perfect it was, for him. I think it's perfect timing. It was exactly perfect timing because that day that the Zoom meeting came up, I was. I happened to wake up and be lazy, right? So I attended my math Zoom class on my Chromebook. So then when I actually got the email, at exactly 12, I opened up my email, which is when the <laughs> link came out. I looked, I was like, oh, it's 12. Yes, sir. See, it and just it was happens, on, it was on yes, my computer. Sir. That's and your I was journey. On the Zoom in the, That's your I was journey. on the Zoom in the Chromebook. So I was actually able to open up the Zoom link on the computer. I was just like, and I'm like, wow. Wow. Very lucky. <laughs> wow. I was like, I, when I went to that meeting, I saw all the e-boy, and I was like, this Alex guy seems really smart. Yeah, shout out to Alex. No, no, shout, shout out to, to Alex. Alex. Oh my god, dude, that my man. hero, my hero. Yeah, and then I, I kind of just came and I was like, wow, kind of just spawned in Swift, you know, got that. But I even though you you like you, you're like painting the picture where like you spawned in it, it's still it's still your journey, you know. Journey Look at Jacob. Like it's the same. It's the same thing. You guys are both in your first year and you got involved with Swift immediately. That's not a bad thing. That's like. It's just it's just how it works because then we open it up in the summer and then you guys are coming into cpp as your first year it's like natural for this like for you guys to like pick up on the marketing so it's not like it's a bad thing yeah, this, this is your journey you're you just see, getting started you see i'm gonna discredit him by saying he came from trouble <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> oh my god he had everything oh. planned since he was 10 years old I saw. Oh, he's geez, like yeah i'm gonna geez. go to troy i'm i'm, I'm a place 60th or something like that in separate page yeah. 3,000 teams and then I'm gonna go to Cal Poly I'm gonna be a networking guy and I'm, gonna, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna gain a new adopted father <laughs> <laughs> it's okay dude okay. you guys are like the little brothers of Swift and it's freaking it's awesome to see your guys' journey like come up to this point so far right so I, I think it's like really important that you guys are getting involved like so early and stuff too because like yeah. how Robert's insane like that is your journey, bro. You guys are walking out of here as like regional champions in your first uh, year, dude. Like, yo, All right, first place Alex. of the whole entire Western region for the penetration testing competition. Stanford shout out to Alex. Place. Shout out to Swift. <laughs> yo, like that's... we beat Stanford, baby. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Stanford's dead, dude. It's okay. Watch this. We'll we'll hear mean, this. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say it again. We beat Stanford, baby. Yo. That's what I'm talking about, Bro. dude. It's good stuff. I mean, you, you guys could say I'm being involved. I'm saying I'm just uh, I'm recovering from. This is my. Uh, you gotta give of, yourself more credit, bro. This is my legal legends therapy. Five years have done. <laughs> no, no, not five years. Six years have done a significant amount of damage. So, it's okay, dude. Don't do worry. Um, with time. With do you time. see yourself doing anything else outside of cyber as like a career path? No, really, right I've now. been sleeping, so I don't think I can actually see anything. I'm, I wake up, do cyber, and then go sleep. <laughs> I, I so can... this is your journey. This was like, it's it was meant to happen. It just be like... <laughs> it's just That's an interesting point, like... dude. We're going to come back like three years later and find out he's in like freaking 
to like a hostel service or something like that. Oh, <laughs> you no. guys are like gonna a... do things that me and Luis could not have even imagined doing no, if you guys keep going on this either. path. It's okay. There might be um, a Robinson right now who's an electrical engineer. <laughs> and he's gonna... on the other side. There's like a mirror fucking like engineering <laughs> podcast right now. CIS. And he hears this podcast. It's like I gotta join Swift, and we get an early Robinson. Shout oh, out to there engineers. You go, dude. Come to Swift. Please. Switch Come majors. Come to CIS. <laughs> Switch majors, dude, for the power of engineering. Bro, okay, so that was the first question. Yeah, it's my turn. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. we just did the 25 it. minute mark. Yeah, so, it's freaking lit. Do you guys always want to work in cyber? I mean, you, you guys already heard me. I hated cyber for about, uh, I would say, 20% of my life now, and then about 1% of it, I've been like, wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what about you guys? I guess I, that kind of just bleeds in back to that first question. Nah, I didn't really want to know. Like, I didn't know I was going to be in cyber, like, at all yeah. until Dang, it was just... Really? You know, yeah, I think that's, like, another cool thing. Like, uh, you know, when you're, when you're around people who do the same things that you do, like, uh-huh. their goals start to rub off on you a lot. So that was one of the biggest things. Yeah, like, I didn't, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know anything about, like, Mandian or wanting to be in Mandian and all these other companies I've never like, heard of in my entire life. But, like... Uh, just hanging around with like Robinson, you guys, and then just like with the heads of Swift and all that kind of stuff, like that rubs off on you. Like I want to be in Mandy now. Like I want to know. Like I want to be in like Lockheed Martin and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I, th- I think it's like a byproduct of just like being around other people for the most part. You, that stuff rubs on, rubs off on you and stuff. And I, I always compare it to like the same thing, um, like in music and stuff. Like the more you hang out with people like in a jazz band you're going to lock you're going to want to learn and like play more jazz and stuff like it rubs off on you every every it's the environment yeah and I, and i find that really cool so no to answer that question <laughs> I, I didn't know anything <laughs> until, <laughs> until just recently yeah i can actually say the same thing but on a, on a somewhat no on a very unrelated note <laughs> what i remember is it, like when you have a bunch of people with similar goals in mind all of a sudden you enjoy <clears> the you enjoy the you know the topic the much more yeah, right yeah. Uh, i was playing league alone and i was very sad <laughs> and then uh I, I brought all my friends to league and then we enjoyed it but we forgot we we didn't notice how much pain it was causing us internally and mentally oh my God. Uh, fast forward now we all quit and we're like wow that was absolutely terrible but at the time it seemed really nice man i still miss uh, level three dragon atrax that was, those were good times <laughs> feel so dated and old i'm like a dinosaur over here dude <laughs> no, i find it interesting though like I mean, you guys are obviously, you have much more years in college than us, but I mean, our, our time in cyber has been somewhat similar. Like we've, we're all just a few months into all of this, right? Like you said, you just started, uh, what, spring or summer? And same with you, right? Yeah. Like you started like working it actively within like the past year or so? Actively, it hasn't even been a year yet. And so yeah, like yeah. we're all just a few months in, so like we're all a lot of years separate, but we learned a lot within just a few months we've been here. Jake and I have the advantage, well, I can know he's been in Troy. But, yeah. Uh, we, <laughs> have a... we, we have, uh, no, okay, so I have the advantage of having four years ahead of me to do a lot of things and hopefully not get burnt out because I'm spending 30 plus hours a week voluntarily. It's okay. You can we always... talk about that later if we have time. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a good, that's an interesting point. Cause like Burnout is like a real thing. Burnout is com- incredibly real thing. Yeah. And that's like an interesting point that you bring up because like <clears> over time, um, you guys are like barely starting out, so there's like so many options that are like open to you right now, and you guys can experiment with. And right. I think that's like the important part too, right? It's not just locking yourself into a corner and just being like, "I'm going to do this forever," because things do get boring. To be totally honest with you, right? Like, um, it, and I think that's that's the cool part is that you guys will have your own journeys as you move forward, and like maybe even get into different niches that you never thought of like beforehand. Mm-hmm. And I think that's an interesting point that you do bring up. So, good. Good, good question. Good that, question that's, that, was a, that was a good Did one. I, ask a question? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember asking questions. It's okay. That was a good. Uh, that was a good observation. There you go. What, what, what about you, Robinson? How about you and cyber? Is it? Is, I know answer, it's a no. recent thing, but like you know. Well, why did you choose um, computer engineering? Even better question. Yeah, why engineer? Because that is a good question. As an Asian, you have three life choices. Oh yeah. You either go down the doctor route, oh, you yeah. go to the lawyer route, or you go down the engineer route. So right. when I or you, or, or you get like completely molded into being an athletic god, but then you, you fall short. For Asians, then, I don't know. That's a little tough. <laughs> oh, no, I, Genetics I, 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 okay. aren't on our <laughs> side. No, no, that's what I mean. That's you, the last part. You fall short and then you disappear into irrelevance. Yeah, yeah. I did do sports in high school, but... D1 you Hooper? Know. 
<laughs> do, yeah, do, yeah, do, yeah. Do, nah, I don't want to talk gun. about it, you know. I don't want to scare people off. Oh, know, yeah, so. yeah, sure, yeah, sure. dude. Yeah, one v one Robinson. That was an open invitation. <laughs> I don't, right don't want to scare anyone with my half court shots. You, you <laughs> they're called uh, they're half court, and they don't make it halfway yeah. there either. <laughs> but going back to the question, no, I didn't. I never. I don't. Cybersecurity was never on my mind until, like. Like I said, summer 2020. Before that, I guess it was like sort of like within the IT realm, you know, with like the digital forensics path. But um, even before digital forensics, I was like, it was a dark time for me, honestly. When I was a computer engineer, like that whole, the beginning year and a half of my my time at CPP was like just super dark. I, I didn't know what to do. I was just, I just came to school. I came to class. I didn't talk to anyone, and I went home. Damn, and, bro. And, like, I had, I had no friends for, like, three years Damn. of, like, CPP. And, like, yes. o- outside of the people who I went to high school with that also came to Pomona, those were, my, those were the only people I talked to. I had no friends. So I didn't I, – I don't even remember what I wanted to do before cyber, but it, it's, like, all hazy now. It's, like – it's dark. It's a fever dude. dream. I think yeah. that's a, yeah. I think that's a nice thing that you do bring up because like those same exact thing. Like I, I I didn't make any friends here at all. Like uh, three years, no friends. Seriously, oh, <laughs> the lights <laughs> for their second round. Dude. Dude. Don't trip on your. Own. Ah, it's okay. Eventually, there we go, uh, dude. Hell yeah. We're back in business. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, just like going down <laughs> on that same point. Um, you know. I got that moniker now, or like that mini title, like face of CIS. But like, <laughs> I was, I, I don't fucking, I, I don't talk to anybody. Like before, before this, <laughs> I would never speak to to pretty much anyone in my classes. I just go do my yeah, thing, and yeah. then you know, just like head back home and stuff. And for a long time, like uh, pretty much like through my entire college career, I can honestly say that it's like, uh, yeah, I was just doing nothing. I was just going through the motions of it, and there was just like nothing that I was gonna. You know, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll get a job after this or whatever. But um, there's also a lot of hate inside you too. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there's like. Damn, that was pretty good, dude. Yeah. Like, Joker. Arclums. Like, what? What are you really doing right now, Robinson? You know, like, like, yeah. like you're you're a computer engineer. You know, you don't want to do it. But why are you still in this major? Like, what? Like, what are you doing? You have to like, you have to like proactively do something to change. Like what you want to yeah. do, right? So. It took a year and a half for me to like figure it out, but for anyone who's listening, hopefully, you know, this kind of gives you more insight to um, <clears throat> finding your path. You know, that's that's the most important thing in life. You want to be you want to be happy with what you're doing, and going down this like predefined route of like what people think you should be or what you think other people um, would like you to do. It's just it's never, 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 never gonna be good, and yeah. and like, the more time you waste, the more like, hate, it, it it'll just like fester up until you're just like completely sick of it, and then you have to like, turn like a new page in the chapter, you know. Seriously, it's gonna yeah. get real hard <clears throat> to be honest with you. Like, yeah. same thing. That's like, why I said it was dark, dude. It's it's gonna get hard, and and I think that's an important thing to bring up too, because it's like um. Fo- it, it might be super difficult for others, but for me, like, it's easy to flip on a dime, but that's just me, right? Like, I can only imagine how it is for that one or two kids that are out there, like, right now, just, like, doing the same motions that we're going through. And, you know, they might have worse circumstances than we do. Like, uh, I'm lucky enough that I still get, like, support from, you know, from, like, parent, my parents and all that kind of stuff. Like, be able to go, you know, have my job and then kind of do things and then kind of come back home and do what I got to do. But that's not for everybody, right? Like... There's students here who are like maybe 35 plus that have kids or whatever, and they can't go out and do yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. it's the other way around. It's like some 18 year old who has never touched a computer before, who's sleeping like who has to sleep on the fucking bus to go back home, kind of thing. So yeah, it, it's it's the the most important thing is to keep trying to like and further better yourself, like uh, just trying to hammer out things like as much as you can every day like it's going to be a process and it's not going to be overnight but the most important thing is to keep trying right and i think that's the cool part is uh involving yourself with like the clubs like you make friends and that was the cool part like 
Same thing. I never had like any other friends like at Cloud yeah. Poly Pomona yeah. at all. Yeah. It was just like uh, going through the process and stuff. Like my only friends outside of here were just like <coughs> the people that I would hang out with at like other shows and stuff like that. So I had like a completely other different environment to like throw myself in for the most part, but that's like its own other like beast and stuff. But there was, I didn't feel fulfilled um, just kind of coming to class and all that stuff. And I think for me it was, I got in the lucky chance where I was able to kind of like oh, dig yeah. deep and, and, and just like so take that lucky. chance. So lucky. And, and I think it's important that people do take that chance, like to, to make that jump if you can, because it, it's, it's going to be worth it, I promise. You guys bring up some interesting points. I remember hearing uh, stuff like that from my brother before. When he was like, he was telling me, hey, you go to Cal Poly, like, don't expect any anything. Don't expect to talk to anybody. It's uh, it's one of those, you know, he, I think he called that transit school. You just go in, Community do your thing, school. Yeah, get yeah. out, right? <clears throat> so I, I, I still like I still see all my friends that, who are going to UCs or one of them, he went it slow. They're all, they're all having the time of lives. They're meeting all these people. And I'm just like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, what? Well, I mean, I, I have yeah. Swift, so, you know, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm cool, I'm chilling. I'm, I'm not jealous at all that they, they live right next to the beach and they have this really <laughs> sick looking dorm and then they have a really We're going to have a Swift dining beach hall party, but, Yeah, dude, we'll bring but, like a kiddie pool over. Oh, it's like right outside No, nah, we're left. going to the beach. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> Swift Beatboard, we're going to the beach. I would just I'll imagine if I wasn't in Swift or if I wasn't in a club at all, it would be a, it would be a high school just without talking to people. And uh, it's dark. And I would have dark. to find another way to recover my from a league, you know, the mental trauma. Like, I would just be sitting here like, you know, just go to class, struggle because I'm in CS and I need a switch and I, I'm very bad at that. And then just go home, cry about it for a bit, think about it, and then go to sleep <laughs> the next day. You know, it, it's uh, it's it doesn't it doesn't seem too good if I, I it wouldn't seem too good if I didn't join a club. I honestly, I, I don't know. It's just when I'm, I'm on campus, I'm just, just like, maybe, maybe I just need to go outside more. I don't know. need to cut some grass or something. But I walk around. It's just people going, go. They go to their class. They go to where they need to. They do the thing. They get out. You know, yeah. call it yeah. a day. It's not, it's not like that whole... Whatever I, I'm just watching my friends witness right now, they're just existing. The freshman and, experience. Like, they just <laughs> exist uh, they, and like just make like good Oh yeah. It, it, they're literally magnets. They're just like people just yeah, attack. Yeah, yeah, All of a yeah. sudden, they randomly meet people, and it's just like it just happens. Like I had to work for it over here, man. I had to <laughs> jump in, subject myself to a nine week boot camp, and then spend twenty hours a week at the time just studying with cyber, and then hey, now I'm here. <laughs> Yeah, but that's a good thing too, right? That changes it. That boot camp, who nearly that did some, oh, man, that, yeah. that changed Damn, something to me. <laughs> I, I I left a di I, I was a different person by the end of it. I was like, wow, I can use a Linux terminal. That's now. what that's the same thing with me. Like every, anybody who went who like is remotely interested and like went through the whole boot camp with, without like skipping, you know, you're gonna come out of it knowing so much, <laughs> and it's. It puts you on a whole nother, whole nother path that you, like, could not even like, Im just imagine yourself being on. And to say it was life changing is like even an understatement. It was life changing, yeah, yeah. honestly. Dang. Like it, it, it's wild because that, that's the main thing too, right? Is I'm that a whole new person, man. It, it it's just wild to me because uh, just coming out of like one of the one of the recent interviews that I had, um, like they didn't even bother to with ask, what company. Uh, um, <laughs> we ain't gonna name yet. Right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's okay. We're still under consideration here, right? But uh, <laughs> okay. I heard it was CrowdStrike. Oh yeah, it was CrowdStrike. Bro. Gotta be Specter Ops. I was the top. You can just restart player. the video, and yeah, then yeah, we can cool. like stitch it together. I heard that. You know, before the boot camp, I was the toxic league player who was trying to reform, right? Uh, after four <clears throat> failed attempts. But after the boot camp, I am now the um, the cyber addict person who is just a, like my identity is cyber now. People look at me like this man. He's like, he, he's a, you, you, you look at his image. He's like, you associate with him a computer. Like, oh my, I don't know. It's just... That's all I talk about now, and it's pretty sad at sometimes. But hey, sad? What do you mean? Nah, dude, that's bro, great imagine stuff. talking to someone that all they talk about is fire. <coughs> you know, that's me. Uh, I don't think that's a good thing. He's but... talking about the girls. Oh, no, I'm just talking dude. about my existence. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna. I mean, sure, that might be a sub now, but like, so you're considering it? <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, what I'm talking about, dude. <laughs>
yeah. I'm not a simp, I promise. That's what I'm talking about. That's like the good stuff. Um, like I was saying earlier, uh, the cool part about being involved with all this kind of stuff and just like with the recent interviews com- coming out of them, like they only asked me about the extracurriculars I was doing. Like that, there was so much, I, I was not shutting up about cyber. Like I wasn't <laughs> shutting up about like Swift, the projects I was doing, the presentations that we had to go do. And, and like, not even that, but like just on the other side too with like being in MISA, one of the biggest things that they asked me was like a case study walkthrough of like my ITC project. So, and that had to do with just like how to implement cybersecurity controls. Like it, it's wild how much you learn like outside of class here at CPP. And, and that's a good thing is that like uh, clubs like MISA, Swift and Fast, like and, and Dot Script and stuff too, right? Like there's so much nurturing there where there's so much opportunity to like do more and actually have that experience come back and be able to like that's bring so it up in, a, in an interview and stuff. So I think that's the cool part is uh, that there's so much new stuff out there and that like we're able to actually you know, get involved, but like actually have that come back to help help us. Cause like I didn't put anything from my, <laughs> for my classwork on there. Like they asked me like, hey, what are you doing? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd rather like actually <laughs> plug in what I was doing here cause like there's actual applications and stuff. So. It, it's it's interesting things to be able to go about that. So I think that's like an important thing too. One of the my favorite parts about cyber uh, was so for context, when I was in high school, I took calc early and I ended up teaching everyone and doing doing calc for everyone for about basically the next three years, so tenth, eleventh, twelfth grade, right? Mm-hmm. So one thing I really liked at the time was, and I still do, is teaching people new things or like getting getting them to, yeah. especially something i enjoy and at the time i enjoyed calc I still <coughs> do, just not higher levels of calc because that's yikes but, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's yikes a cyber i found it very fun and it's very fun to teach people uh when i when i started coding in high school that was my introduction to computer stuff when i, w- I was coding stuff but you can't like teaching it, it just isn't the same when I remember when I, I would try to teach someone code, it was just like very tedious. They question like, why do you do this or would this be? It was just, it was a mess. I didn't, I, I got burnt out of it really quickly. But when it came to cyber and like, you know, it teach me like, oh, if you th- if you think of this from this angle or if you try doing this right, mm-hmm. when I was when I try to like just show some basic pen testing stuff to someone, it's like it's really interesting to see people and d- different approaches to things and then just yeah. like sharing yeah. about it, trying it out. Or like sometimes I even I remember with something I've been wanting to do is like setting up my own stuff for people to try to hack into right I, I just like seeing people just sharing the knowledge the cyber knowledge is just like it's beautiful it, yeah it's beautiful when you share <laughs> when I shared my coding knowledge it was just like this is disgusting I don't know why you understand this I don't understand how this is fun but when I was sharing my cyber knowledge or like people were teaching me I was like I, I remember uh <laughs> Uh, one of the Saturdays when Brandon came over and he was teaching me oh, yeah. about um, what was it, it was like uh, NTLM relays. I was like, wow, <laughs> Windows is stupid. <laughs> just like for 30 minutes, I was just like completely just <coughs> invested in it. I was just like, I don't know. It's just teaching cyber and learning about it is it's really, it's really fun. You got to do that for the next three years. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, dude. You'll reach Brandon Sakamoto levels by the time you're out of here, bro. One day. One day. Joint switch, you know? There you go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know if that happens to anybody else. For me, it's just like, you know, it's, 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 a, little, it's a little cliche, but it's like, wow, it's magic. I mean, it really was. When I, I was, when I was, when my brother was doing the tryouts and for the C- the CPT charts and he got stuck and then he was like okay you know what? I need to do bandit over the wire now because he didn't complete this it guy. yet <laughs> during the comp- <laughs> yeah he, he oh, was on level like level six right so I had to guide him through the levels of bandit and just like seeing like oh wow this is more interesting and I thought I was like well yeah why didn't you do it earlier <laughs> it, like big big man five head come on think think about it <laughs> but it was like seeing him seeing him like work with um like when he set up uh, his own netcat listener to send messages to send like a key to himself or something or like when he set up uh when he was working with an suid and he was like wow i mean sure it wasn't completely sorry it was just linux stuff but it was still really interesting to see people respond to the common interest that you have and i think that's like the cool interesting part about like the mentality that you have to have going into like cyber and stuff too um and i think this translates well over to like cs i can imagine as well because it's like multiple um 
what is it called? Multiple paths to like the same endpoint. You can do like so many different things just to reach the same, the same, you know, the same goal. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to think of like as a forensic expert kind of like way. You have to like deduce different things. You have to go through an investigation, investigative process to like see what works and what doesn't. And I think that's a cool, interesting part about cyber too is that like it changes the way that you have to think about things to be able to like solve the puzzle for sure and sure. it's weird because like that's another thing too that i started to realize that it's like you have to be kind of a, a masochist to get into what we're doing because you have to like <laughs> enjoy this you have to enjoy this suffering a little bit to kind of like yeah 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 it's um, a process because it is a process like you're not going to get it the first time every single time like but when you do uh, that, yeah. the fruit is so delicious. The fruit of your wor work, your labor, is so <laughs> worth it at the end of it. When it's you like, get root and hack the box. Oh, no, for, 42 boxes later and the high <laughs> is still kicking in every time. Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. And, and so that's like the cool part is that uh, the way that you like that you approach things, your mentality, how you have to do like this investigative work. And at the end of the day, too, like the reward system on it <laughs> is like super great. It, and that's why I like doing this stuff too, because I'm like, uh, I don't know, doing the hard things is like, oh, has always been like the fun thing for me. So I, I think it's just like interesting um, getting into like not only cyber, but I guess how you would also take this from like a CS perspective, which is kind of interesting. Like, what was it that kind of put you off from like um, that, that puts you off from like computer science, so to speak, as opposed to like I was coding, and I was like, wow, that's cool. I made Dollar Tree Monopoly. Wow, <laughs> what do I want to make next? And then I just sat there. I was like, I don't. I don't know. I, yeah. I, I, like, I can't, I can't figure it out. And then yeah. they're like, oh, just find something. I couldn't find anything. It was either too complex. Like, so I, I think the second thing I wanted to was try to make a website with Django. And I just got lost. And the difference here is, whereas I enjoyed the pain in cyber, when you look at the lines of code and you're just like, why isn't this working? I didn't enjoy that at all. When I was looking, I was like, I don't understand why these lines of code are all of a sudden making a website. I was so confused and I was just, I, I spent hours on it too, like just as much time as it here, but I didn't like it. And that was the difference. That wasn't your path? Right. I, I think it, I mean, I'm pretty sure some people might enjoy it. For me personally, I didn't enjoy it at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me but too. Like, I think just it's like a functional basis too. Something about like, um, cyber, man. Like getting my first juicy potato and then my fifth juicy <laughs> potato, it didn't matter. I still loved it. When I got my first lateral movement callback with on Mythic, I just... <laughs> this is the point where we lost everybody. Like, yeah, what is they're like, what is he, what is <laughs> I don't know. It's just like when you do these things and then they work. And then, sure, sometimes it doesn't work. But then, I don't know, you keep bashing your head and it works. You know, I can't bash my head on code. It just doesn't work. It, like, <laughs> just I think it's just that's I'm just how cyber is at this point. Uh, cyber, cyber. Because then, I, for me personally, cyber is the only field where you're, at least in the beginning, you're constantly failing, but it doesn't seem like a failure. You know? Right, right. It's 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 like you're you're continu continuously learning, and these these things you're learning will all like build up within time whereas like other majors it's like at the start if you don't understand something it's like you have to understand it now or else um you're not going to get it it's just going to get deeper and deeper but with cyber it's it's the same concept but it's it's a fun process you're enjoying the whole you like as you're struggling you're also like enjoying it right you might not enjoy it at the time but looking back it's like wow I learned all these things. <laughs> Dude. <clears throat> so, yeah, for cyber it's 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 a very fulfilling path to go down and it's you're always constantly learning, which I don't oh. think is like many many uh fields can like say. Yeah. And, and that that just brings me back cuz it's like CS and like cyber are so like intertwined with each other, but they like differ in just the approach. So, I don't know, that that's like an interesting question like I wonder if the people in like uh, CS is like rigid, you know, like it it's feels so rigid. rigid. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, I it's came like to one CS path. I thought it was free. You know, like you like, have to go down. When and I like everybody has to go to it. In, when I was trying CS, I thought like you can code, you can make anything, you could do anything a certain way. But then like as I kept doing it, it's like okay, now we're, we're gonna show you this algorithm. Now we're gonna show you how to do things in this option. All it felt so restrictive all of a sudden. I was just like, yeah, 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 yeah. I di I didn't like I that. I agree. I agree. But then like. For example, when I came into uh, recently, when I was learning about port forwarding in cyber and all the different ways you could try to, like you have 
you're, you're attacking machine, a middle machine, and then like a deeper network and seeing all the different ways that you could try to make connections. Yeah, make the con direct connection to yourself or use the middleman. It was like, wow, that's cool. Yeah. But then when I was doing the CS, it was like, oh, no, no, no. You see, what you, what you should have done here was uh, this. You should have used selection sort instead of this really <laughs> deep <laughs> algorithm. No, and I'm like, sort yeah, not dude. again. And I was like, mm, no. <laughs> Interesting. Like yeah, how about I what I should have done completely. was not take the class. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I feel it, and that, and that's like another that that's a cool point to bring up because I'm like a uh, that, that's what I was curious about because I'm not a very big like CS person at all. I I can't code to save my life. Too, like I, I I know Python. I know how to read it, but that's like, hey, dude, you, you guys <laughs> how to do anything else? I don't know like Jack. Bro. Yeah, me too. So I think that's a cool part too is that like Saber also gives you these like small <clears throat> little niblets of rewards. So like when you do find out a way to like exploit something or to protect it, vice versa, like it's immediate, like you can see it and it's like, it feels more tangible. Um, well, I don't know, with like CS and like having to do these coding, the small coding projects and stuff, it's an arbitrary and really exhaustive process because it's like, oh my God, it doesn't work on this line. I have to go all <laughs> yeah. the way back up yeah. to the top and then, yeah, it gets like, it gets real old real quick. So I, I can imagine that. Shout out to CS majors though, you know, like, oh, yeah, no dude. disrespect. Oh, Gabe. Hey, <laughs> Gabe. Yeah, dude. Without you, there ain't no Facebook, there ain't oh, no Instagram. So it's good stuff. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know how they do the, all that magic and that first year. It's not it's our just, path. It's okay. That's why we're here. We're here to protect them. We're not here to, you know, you know I, I or just, attack them too, I guess. They, 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 are, they are different. They are assembled alternatively. I love it. I love the way you put Built different. That's what I'm saying. Assembled alternatively. <laughs> all right, cool. Game. Well, I'm going to move on to the last question. That well, got deep, have really. Three more. No, they answered some of them on the way. Did they? <laughs> we can cut this out. I love this show. No, yeah, we can cut this no, out. No, we're not cutting anything out. <laughs> so I'll just keep it on Rob It's already super <laughs> deep. It's real. beautiful just instead of like 50 minutes. All right, cool. So last question. What is one piece of advice you'd give someone starting Ooh. out in cyber? Just Luis and Robinson since Dylan and I are freshmen. Yo, we have like five more. What do you do? You want to go first? No, no. Those are Yeah, I'll go first. have more time. <laughs> if there's one piece of advice I'd give to anyone starting out in cyber... Like I've said a million times before, just get involved. Please do yourself a favor and just, That's and just jump in no matter what club, no matter what thing, whatever. Just get into it. Be in the environment that allows you to nurture that want to do more. Because if you, I, think, I promise you, if you're going to stay there in your seat right now and continue doing what you're doing like through the motions of class, like how me and Robinson were already doing, you're not going to get anything out of, the, out of this at the end of the day. You might get a decent job at the end of it, but it's going to take a lot of work and it's going to be really difficult for you in the end. And honestly, like that's the biggest thing too. It, it, it only helps you. It, it's a disservice to not be a part of a community. It, it's just only going to oh, hurt yeah. you. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's my piece of advice. Just get involved. I don't know if I have one piece. I have a two-parter. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, cheater, dude! I want to give my last piece right now, bro. No, just kidding. Go, go ahead, go ahead, dude. Uh, okay, so the first part is similar to what Luis would say was saying, um, which is um, like getting involved, but like just like a little bit beyond that is to surround yourself with people with like like-minded people who who um share similar who share like a similar path to you right or like a drive because then when you surround yourself with people like that with people like dylan with people like alex with people like bryce it it'll continue pushing you and it, it pushes you to to question yourself and say like wow i can actually do this and like each each time you talk to them it's like i learned a new thing i learned a new thing learn new thing i can actually do this this is actually possible and that Honestly, is the one factor that changed everything for me was surrounding myself with people in Swift. Everybody in this um, club is incredibly smart and and has had a big impact on my growth and, or and and just basically how all my knowledge like up till now is because of the people who've been who've been around me. And the second part is to find your pocket. You know, there's a lot of things you can do within cyber, um, whether it's, you know, cyber defense, pen testing, auditing, um, it, the list just goes on. But if you, if you really 
take the time to find your pocket and and like like tell yourself like you you actually want to do this then the process is easier right you're, you're gonna like it, it for cyber there's a lot of there's a lot of failure constant failure even after the begin portion of it <laughs> I, I think yeah. everybody here can yeah. say that but <laughs> but it, it's, it doesn't even seem like failure to you, you it, it, it's like you just you just think of it as this is a process where i'm going to continue learning and if when i'm when I'm continually learning, I'm gonna learn more, and I'm gonna become, you know, better at whatever whatever you're doing. So finding your pocket is, I'd say, like up there with surrounding yourself with people. Those two are like equally important, and I think they will take you very far. I think that's where the uh, the support system comes too, right? Yeah, yeah, once, yeah. Once yeah, you yeah. hit that wall, you're. You need someone to help you. You can't yeah. do cybersecurity by yourself. You can't, and that's like a, a hard definite. Like yeah. you will not proceed without some form of support system there. Unless and I think that's the most important thing: <laughs> asking questions and having other people to be able to answer yeah. them and like help you out through that process and stuff. So, yeah, definitely. I think that's that, that's a fantastic piece of advice. You got any advice, Jacob? Honestly, just get involved. Join Swift, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, Join new, Swift. new piece of CIS. You'll, you'll, be, you'll be here in the next three years with me. My you know? piece of advice, it's, a, it's an age-old piece of advice. It's been passed on generation to generation. You know, I believe it's something along the lines of uh, try harder. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. That's good stuff. Yep. All right, well, that concludes episode zero of the, Swi um, the Swift bad? podcast <laughs> already established this but um you guys want to plug anything real quick yeah i want to plug this in and figure out why it's been hey that's fair too i tripped over it that's <laughs> why yeah. at this point you can just lie <laughs> yeah there you go you could have just lied you wouldn't even know uh alternate know podcast uh miss after class you guys want to check that out as well also <laughs> doing that when's episode two coming out hey what do you mean this is episode five right now oh <laughs> wait what i didn't know there was uh, a miss a podcast yeah actually. there was yeah, wait when? but now we're making a swift one the one was there wait this is a swift pod oh yeah it is uh, <laughs> wait it's okay dude i wait, can plug you wait, in wait we're talking about miss so that wait what no because he, he's plugging his podcast oh oh yeah wait where's that it's on Spotify. It's on yeah. Spotify. Technically, well, it's on Spotify, Spotify Apple account. Music, oh, I don't iTunes. Have Apple I don't have that either. <laughs> it's okay, dude. Don't, don't worry. It'll be on everything. This I think it's also on SoundCloud, too. I don't have oh, really? it either. Yeah, dude. Damn, bro. You missing out on some fire tracks right now. Bro, Not even from me, I but got, just like in I general, got, bro. I got Discord. <laughs> <laughs> just plug it in on only Discord. I got Discord on my broken music bot. It's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. But yeah. Also, uh, please go check out the other clubs that we got here on campus. We got That Script. We got The Lovely Fast. We got Missa. We got Swift. We all plugged in. They all got their own pages and stuff. <laughs> please go check them out if you can. The face of CIS. He knows every single... CIS really board on every, every club. Club. Hey, dude. the only thing I want to plug is Swift Swift changed my life and I think anybody who's remotely interested in cyber if you go down this path and you you get to know the Swift people um, you will you will do amazing things anybody on Swift uh, remotely like involved in Swift has gone on to do amazing things so definitely definitely like give just just take the risk, you know? Um, oh, that's another big advice that I have, actually. <laughs> take the Taking risk. risks. Yeah, bro, no, what? dude, that's Taking like the risks. biggest thing. Yeah. Uh, unless you're on red team, don't take the risk. <laughs> but that's <laughs> what kind of where being involved is, because that's like a risk, and that's like the big thing, right? Yo, I took a big risk to, to, to just like... I didn't. This semester? <laughs> oh, same, it, bro. This semester same. is a big risk, but... Man, I'll talk about that another day, but uh, yeah, Joint Swift. I'll be taking risks, and I spawned here. No, I do CPTC and CCDC. Do the tryouts every summer. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. Yeah, I'll see you there. I'll be I'll be presenting. Unfortunately. Hey. <laughs> That's a good stuff, Information though. will probably be on our Swift Discord, which I'll probably put in the description. But, or yeah. the description on the podcast. That's I think this gonna be on YouTube though. Oh okay. okay. Oh, I mean, the... you can make you can plug it on anything, dude. I'll, I'll, oh, okay, I'll show okay. you. What, uh, you can put it like on. I was gonna say a light sail instance. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was like, you oh, my, my brain. My brain is working. Oh, but uh, yeah, no, you can plug this in on anything. There's like a okay. free service for it. Hey, yo, new CTF. Watch all the podcasts and get the flags. And... <laughs> oh. You have to do 50 minutes, <laughs> 50 hours of podcast. <laughs> Don't cut oh, any yeah, of this. Bro. Yeah, I'm not cutting any of this. <laughs> okay. All right, goodbye. All right, well, I'll everybody. see you, gamers.